And now uh, let's bring in California Congressman Devin Nunes, who needs no photograph because there he is right there with the beautiful stars and stripes behind him. Congressman, thanks for joining us. Uh, I, I'm guessing you had a chance to see at least a portion of the president's comments last night. He'll be he'll be uh, hosting a 2020 salute to America at the White House with military air show and flyovers today. Talk to us about the importance of civic ritual and, and honoring our traditions, especially where we are in 2020, reflecting on our past. Well, thanks, Pete, and good morning to everybody. Morning. Happy Fourth of July. I woke up earlier this morning and was watching you just prepare. I'm on the West Coast, and so, Pete, in your honor, I wore this tie. It was the closest tie I could get. I didn't <laughs> have that fancy bow tie with a flag on it. You know, next year, but, uh, Congressman, we'll, we'll give you another shot. Well, I, was, I got prepared, and look, it was inspiring just to watch the bands that are playing mm -hmm. throughout your show. And I will say, uh, last night was a phenomenal speech of the ages, probably Donald Trump's very best speech. I agree. And here's why. He pointed out some key points that many of us have been making for a while that we need the American people to understand. I think one of the challenges that we have in this country is that people are 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 getting 90% of their content is coming from very liberal creators that work at all the usual outlets. And then it's being funneled into us through social media outlets that are now censoring us. I've talked about this a lot. Last night, I think, was the first time that the president talked about how the universities are a challenge. Journalism schools are a challenge for us, and they're trying to cancel our culture. And he even brought up how fascism has now reached the corporate boardrooms. Those are all serious issues that I think American people on July 4th need to understand and fathom. And hopefully, last night, that that speech will be played over and over again, and we can share it with our friends. Uh, because what's happening is, is that if you have opinions like conservatives and Republicans do, those thoughts and those ideas and those concepts are not making it to a majority of the American people. And that's why you're seeing the tearing down, down of statues and the removal of portraits mm -hmm. from the U.S. Capitol it leads to this cancel culture because it's about the Democratic Party that's now the Socialist Party trying to take over this country. Congressman, let me ask you about some news this week about the Russian bounties on U.S. troops. You were briefed by the CIA director, among others. What can you tell us about what you were briefed on? And did what you were briefed on warrant, in your opinion, a response? Well, thanks, Griff. And the way I look at this is, is that the intelligence agencies have been politicized since at least 2016. We know that because the Clinton campaign was able to run a dirty operation to actually spy on the Trump campaign and effectively the Republican Party. So, you know, with that said, that's really never stopped. If you go back to the impeachment hoax, uh, you know, those were people that supposedly were whistleblowers, yet they had actually been coordinating with the Democratic Party that led to the impeachment. Uh, this has all the same hallmarks. It's the same reporters that ran with it, it and then, it, you know, it stretched out. At first, it's a bombshell. And then, of course, after a few days, you figure out that the intelligence or that the intelligence never even made its way to the president's desk. And what Pete can tell you is, is that when there are threats to troops, you even if it's even if it's proven and cooperated or not, it is, an, it is apparent upon the intelligence officials to get that information up and out to our forces so that it can be implemented. It doesn't mean it's true, but you want to get it out. And I would also just say this. It's no secret, especially to Republicans who have been following this issue for a long time, that Vladimir Putin is, is, a, is a dangerous person. I mean, my God, he's got a very powerful intelligence force. He's, he's knocking off people in the U.K. and, and other uh, Ukrainians and everything else, anybody who disagrees with him. So he's a dangerous guy. So, of course, if something comes up, you want to get it out first to, to the forces. Then you want to take the process and look at it to see, is it true? Can you cooperate it? Um, the idea that this was would leak, likely, and I'll say this, and I think this is the most important thing I'm going to say this morning, this leak probably came from the area of our intelligence agencies that look at counterintelligence. These are the very people that are actually going to be investigating themselves. I think we have a real problem mm -hmm. when the intelligence agencies, within our counterintelligence capabilities, when they are not actually, you know, when they have to actually investigate themselves. I don't think we're going to find mm -hmm. these leakers who were just helping the left build a narrative to try to take down the Republican Party. It's happened time and time again. Congressman Devin Nunes, thank you so much for joining us. And I could not agree more. That speech last night was one of the president's very 
very best. Congressman, thank you very much. Have a great day. Thanks, Congressman. My pleasure to be with you all this morning. Happy 4th.